Hello, welcome to Rocky by Chem series. In this edition of Mass Balance, I will focus on recycle systems. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly support me by doing so. Thank you very much. Now, before I start with the business of the day, let me do a very quick recap. From my previous videos on mass balance, we came to understand that in unit operation, mass in is always equal to mass out. In other words, the sum of the masses of anything entering the system should be equal to the sum of anything exiting the system. So, total balance equation is written as F is equal to W plus P, whereas component balance equation is written by multiplying the percentage of the components under consideration by the masses of the feed, the water, and then that of the product. We also learned about a situation whereby we bypass some portion of the feed and then make it meet up with the output stream from the evaporator to form our final product. Please, if you still have a problem in understanding the operation of simple evaporator systems as well as bypass systems, kindly check out my previous videos on them. I have put the links to those videos in the description of this particular video, so check it out. Now, let's move on to the real business of the day, that is recycle streams. In certain situations, when you try to use the evaporator to concentrate your feed to produce your final products, efficient conversion will not take place. In other words, 100% conversion of your feed into products will not be achieved. Some portion of the feed will be able to undergo normal conversion into products, whereas some portion too will not be able to undergo conversion into products. So what we do is that we make use of separator to separate the fraction that was able to be converted into final product from the fractions that were not able to undergo conversion so that the fractions that were not uh, able to undergo conversion will be recycled back to the evaporator for it to evaporate it again to achieve saturated products and then the same separator will also bring about a stream that contains the fraction that was able to undergo the conversion. Let me take it again. So the separator will separate the fraction that was able to undergo conversion from the fraction that, that was unable to undergo conversion. So the final products are only those that were able to undergo conversion. And the fraction that couldn't undergo efficient conversion will then be recycled back to the evaporator for it to undergo evaporation again. So this is basically the general overview of recycle systems. So we can perform balance balances. That is, we can write total balance and then component balance equations by considering the whole system. That is, by considering the evaporator and then the separator together. We can also perform balances by com by taking into consideration only the evaporator. Or we can also consider only the separator and then write total balance and then component balance equations. So if we are to consider the whole system, then our total balance equation is going to be F is equal to W plus P, that is mass in is equal to mass out. The sum of all arrows pointing towards the system should be equal to the sum of all arrows pointing away from the system. So as we can see from here, the feed F is the only arrow that is pointing towards the system. See, when I talk about the system, I'm talking about the combination of the evaporator and then the separator. Yes, so it is only the feed that is the only arrow pointing towards the system. Whereas the product stream as well as the water are the only arrows pointing away from the system. That is why they are also found on the other side of the equal sign. So, if you have to write component balance equation, it will just be a matter of multiplying the percentage of the components under consideration by the masses of the feed, the water, and then that of the product. Don't forget that the percentage is always converted into decimal when we are writing the component balance equation. And also, the percentage of the components under consideration in water is always equal to zero since we assume that the water exiting the evaporator is always pure and there is no solid impurity found in it. Now, if you are to consider the evaporator as our, uh, if you are to consider the evaporator to write the balance equations, then total balance equation will be equal to the sum of arrows pointing towards the 
evaporator and then equating it into uh, equating it to the sum of arrows pointing away from the evaporator so we can see from here that they feed f and then the rest cycle are the only arrows pointing towards the evaporator whereas the water and then the saturated stream are pointing away from the evaporator that is why the total balance equation is written as f plus r is equal to w plus s so we can also write component balance equation by multiplying the respective percentages of the solid or the components under consideration by the masses of the feed, the recycle stream, the water, and then that of the saturated stream. Lastly, if you are to consider the separator, we can also get our total balance equation to be equal to S. That is, S is equal to P plus R. In other words, the sum of arrows pointing toward the separator should be equal to the sum of arrows pointing away from the separator. And the component balance equation can be written by multiplying the percentages of the components under consideration by the masses of the S, that is the saturated stream, the products, and then that of the recycle stream. So this is the general overview of recycle systems. Let's try out this example to make what we have learned look practical so this is the example in a process of concentrating orange juice 100 kg per hour of a fresh orange juice containing 20 percent by weight solids is fed to an evaporator which removes water at 455 kelvin to produce a 50 percent by weight saturated solution this is then fed to a separator at 311 uh, Kelvin, where crystals containing 96 percentage by weight of products are removed. The saturated solution containing 37.5 percentage by solids is recycled to the evaporator. Calculate the amount to the recycle stream and the product stream. So this is the question. Let's go through the solution step by step. So the first thing that you have to do is that use a diagram to represent the information given in the question. So this is basically how the diagram will look like. We were given the feed to be equal to 100 kg per hour and then we were also given the, uh, the solid components found in the feed to be equal to 20% and we are also given that of the recycle stream to be 37.5, that of the saturated stream to be 50% and then that of the product to be equal to 96%. Take very good note of the direction of the arrows, especially for the recycle stream. The recycle stream arrow has to move from the separator and then back to the evaporator. Don't change the arrows. Take a very good note of it. Now, after representing the information with a diagram, the next thing we have to do is to start performing our balances to work out the mass of the recycle stream and then that of the product stream. So let's consider the whole system and then perform balance on it. I have made you understood earlier that we can perform three types of balances. We can perform balances by by taking the whole system into con under consideration, we can also consider only the evaporator or we can also consider only the separator. So I am starting by considering the whole system. So total balance equation for the whole process is going to be equal to F is equal to W plus P. And we were given F to be equal to 1000 kg per hour. So 1000 will be equal to W plus P and this becomes our equation one. Now, we can write components balance equation by multiplying the masses of the feed, the water, and then that of the product as found in equation 1 by that of the respective percentages of the components under consideration. So, we are going to get 1000 multiplying 0 0.2 and it will be equal to 0 plus 0 0.96p. So, by computing this, we are going to get our p to be equal to 208.3 kg per hour meaning our flow rate for the product is equal to 208.3 kg per hour. Now, by getting P, we can fix it into equation 1 to work out for our W. So, by putting this into equation 1, we are going to get W to be equal to 1000 minus 208.3 kg per hour. And hence, the flow rate of water will be equal to 791.7 kg per hour. So, by knowing the flow rate of the water and then that of the product we can use them to work out the flow rate of the recycle stream and then that of the saturated stream so in step three we are going to consider the separator and then perform balances on it so this is how the diagram will look like let's consider only that particular portion so we can see from here that 
it is only the saturated product that is pointing towards the separator. The product and then the recycle stream are pointing away from it. So the sum of arrows pointing towards the separator should be equal to the sum of arrows pointing away from it. So our total balance equation can be written as S is equal to P plus R. But we know P to be equal to 208.3 kilogram per R. And by fixing this into the equation, we are going to get S is equal to 208.3 plus R. And by rearranging, we are going to get S minus R to be equal to 208.3. And this becomes our equation 1. Now, by knowing our total balance equation, we can use it to deduce our component balance equation. So by Considering the component balance equation, we are just going to multiply the percentages of the components under consideration here, which is solids, by the respective masses of the saturated stream, the products, and then that of the recycle. So by doing so, we are going to get 0.5s and it should be equal to 208.3 multiplying 0.96 plus 0.375. And by computing the error of this, we are going to get 0.5s minus 0.375r and it should be equal to 199.968. And this becomes our equation 2. Now by getting two equations, we can work them out simultaneously. So... Let's make S the subject of equation 1 and then put this into equation 2. So by computing the whole of this, we are going to get R to be equal to 766.544 kilogram per R. That is the flow rate of the recycle stream is equal to 766.544 kilogram per R. Now by knowing R, we can fix this into equation 1 to work out that of the saturated stream. So by putting this into the equation, we are going to get S is equal to 974.844 kilogram per hour. Hence, the flow rate of the saturated stream is equal to 974.844 kilogram per hour. So this is basically how the calculations are performed. You can also solve this same question alternatively by considering the evaporator to write your total balance and then component balance equation instead of using the separator. And at the end, you are going to get the same answers. So this is basically how it is done. I'm going to give you a trial question for you to try your hands on. So this is the question. Kindly pause the video and then solve it by yourself. When you are done, comment with your answer and I'm willing to also mark it for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe for me and stay tuned. See you another time.